The special meeting of stockholders of JG Summit Holdings Incorporated will now start. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We will now play the Philippine National Anthem. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to this meeting. Joining us today are the, pres the President and Chief Executive Officer of the Corporation, Mr. Lance Gokongwe, the Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Francisco Del Mondo, and the Corporate Secretary, Attorney Maria Celia Fernandez Estabilio. May I request the Corporate Secretary to please certify on the sending of notices to stockholders and to the existence of a quorum for this meeting. Mr. Chairman, I hereby certify that the notice of this meeting had been sent to the stockholders of record as of October 20, 2020, via the following methods. First, by delivery to the stockholders of record at their addresses registered in the books of the corporation. Second, by posting on the website of the corporation and third, by disclosure to the Philippine Stock Exchange. Thus, the stockholders have been notified of this meeting in compliance with applicable rules and regulations. I hereby certify that there are present in this meeting via remote communication or by proxy, stockholders entitled to vote representing 90.06% of the corporation's total outstanding shares, and that this meeting is therefore competent to transact the business provided for in the agenda. A quorum is present, Mr. Chairman. There being a quorum, a special meeting of the stockholders of JG Summit Holdings Incorporated is hereby called to order. May I request the corporate secretary to share with us the rules and procedures for this meeting. The rules and procedures are set forth in the definitive information statement and in the explanation of agenda items integrated into the notice of this meeting. All tabulation results for this meeting are subject to validation by CSIP, Gores, Belayo, and Company. In case there are stockholders who are with us now during this live broadcast, you may send your questions to us at our email address and we will reply to your questions. The corporation will reply to the questions and comments not taken up in this email, uh, in this meeting through email. The email address of the corporation is flashed on the screen. Let us now proceed to the next item in the agenda. The approval uh, of a declaration of stock dividend equivalent to 5% of the total issued and outstanding shares of the corporation. Mr. Chairman, the next item on the agenda is the approval of the declaration of stock dividends equivalent to 5% of the total issued and outstanding shares of the corporation. The corporation is proposing the declaration of 5% stock dividends in addition to the declared cash dividends of 38 centavos share for 2020. The corporation considers the declaration of 5% stock dividends as further remuneration to the stockholders given the growth of the corporation. This will also strengthen our capital base and ensures that the corporation remains tax compliant. Please note that to facilitate the declaration and distribution of the stock dividends, necessary amendments shall be made to the Articles of Incorporation to ensure that both the voting and economic interests of all shareholders are preserved. 
These amendments will be tackled next as indicated in today's agenda. The proposal is to declare A, a stock dividend equivalent to 5% of the total issued and outstanding shares of the corporation or 358,142,083 common shares and 200 million preferred voting shares to be issued and paid out paid for out of the unrestricted retained earnings of the corporation as of December 31, 2019, to all stockholders holding common and preferred voting shares, respectively, as of the record date of October 30, 2020, to be distributed on November 25, 2020. And B, any fractional shares resulting from the stock dividend declaration will be paid in cash. The listing of the stock dividend shares shall be subject to the approval of the Philippine Stock Exchange. Ms. Corporate Secretary, what are the results of voting for the approval of the declaration of stock dividends equivalent to 5% of the total issued and outstanding shares of the corporation? Mr. Chairman, after tabulating the votes, we are pleased to report that stockholders representing 87.11% of the total outstanding shares of the corporation have approved the declaration of stock dividends equivalent to 5% of the total issued and outstanding shares of the corporation. Thank you. The declaration of stock dividends equivalent to 5% of the total issued and outstanding shares of the corporation is hereby approved. Let us move on to the next item in the agenda, which is the amendment of Article 7 of the Articles of Incorporation. May I call on the Corporate Secretary to explain the proposal? Mr. Chairman, the amendment to Article 7 of the Articles of Incorporation is being proposed in order to first reclassify the preferred non-voting shares of the corporation into preferred voting shares. After the approval of the amendment, the corporation will have 204 billion preferred voting shares with a par value of one centavo per preferred voting share, with a total par value of 2 billion 40 million pesos. The 5% stock dividends will require issuance of 200 million new preferred voting shares. The corporation's authorized preferred voting shares are fully issued and outstanding. In contrast, 2 billion authorized preferred non-voting shares remain unissued. Reclassification is the most cost-efficient manner to allow for the declaration of stock dividends. The authorized non-voting preferred shares are unissued. Consequently, the reclassification will not affect the proportion of ownership of current shareholders. The corporation will not be issuing additional voting preferred shares in this exercise other than what will be issued for stock dividends. Second, the proposal also includes the modification of the dividend feature of the preferred voting shares. Following the approval of the amendment, the preferred voting shares shall be entitled to A, cash and property dividends equivalent to one over one hundred of cash and property dividends declared for common shares, and B, stock dividends equivalent to the same rate declared for common shares. This amendment allows for stock dividends to be declared without any change in or dilution of the voting and economic interests of the shareholders. The proposed amendments are not expected to have any adverse effect on the business operations and or capital structure of the corporation. Ms. Secretary, Corporate Secretary, do you have the results of voting for this agenda item? Mr. Chairman, after tabulating the votes, we are pleased to report that stockholders representing 85.77% of the total outstanding shares of the corporation have approved the amendment to Article 7 of the Articles of Incorporation to reclassify the preferred non-voting shares into preferred voting shares and modify the dividend features of the preferred voting shares as outlined previously. Thank you. The amendment of Article 7 of the Articles of Incorporation of the Corporation is hereby approved. Are there any other matters to be taken up for consideration of the stockholders? There are none, Mr. Chairman. This ends the special stockholders meeting of the JG Summit Holdings, Inc. A link where a replay of this meeting may be viewed shall be made available at the website of the corporation. Thank you and very much for joining. Please take care and stay healthy.